Hello Aquarius and Happy New Year. This is going to be your reading for January and it is going to be a general reading so it may not resonate with everyone, okay? If it's not resonating, it may not be your message. You can also check out readings for your moon and rising and your Venus signs and those may resonate better with you. If you are new here, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. And if you're returning, thank you so much for all your support, you guys. I really do appreciate it. If you want to book a private reading with me, I have pinned a comment in the comments section. And that has um, the link to book online. And it also has the link to my website and it's also you know those links are in the description box below as well my website is awakenwithnancy.com okay so you can book directly through there and um you guys last time so i did a christmas reading for you and it was about you sitting on the fence about a relationship so I feel that there is some indecision and inaction going on. And then the earlier reading in December was about an apology challenging you guys. So I don't know if that energy is still with you or not. Um, it seems that it is though, because the overall energy from the Moonology deck is work through your fears and what do you need to release? So I think some of you are still sitting on the fence. So let's see what's happening. You guys, um, the majority of the decks that I use are linked in the description box below. This one is an exception to that. Um, this is the Twin Flame Journey Tarot. This is not going to be a Twin Flame reading. But I use this deck. It was created by another reader who I really like. And if you want to order this deck, you can go to her Etsy shop. It is Mystic Moon Oracle. So I want to just jump in and get going. See what is coming up for Aquarius in January 2020. We're five days in, you guys. I'm excited for this new year, this new decade. I think um, there's going to be some powerful change, which I'm excited about. Okay, in the present position, we've got the Three of Cups. This is beautiful energy. This is really about you enjoying life. Um, what's challenging you is the Four of Swords. That is about healing and recovery. So what is going on, Aquarius? Okay, in the past, we've got temperance. This is also about healing. This is about being patient. This is a major arcana. So this is a really important message for you. This is also about alchemy, creating something, blending, blending energies, perhaps. And we'll know more um, when I clarify everything. In the future, beautiful, we've got the sun. This is about illumination, growth, expansion, joy, and happiness. So what I'm feeling like is, um, you know, if I look at these cards in a linear fashion, we got temperance, so that's restoration, healing. We know that's challenging you right now. But then in the present, it's three of cups enjoying life. And then in the future is the sun. That's happiness and joy. So that looks really good. It's just um, letting go, releasing some, some past hurt is what I'm feeling. There's something that um, you may be fearing. Well, those want to come out, so I will take them. In your present mind, we've got, in your, I'm sorry, in your conscious mind, we've got the Knight of Swords, and this is, wow, okay, maybe you're gonna get off the fence. 
This is about taking action. I mean, look at this guy. He's on his motorcycle and he's just ready to go. So that's good. And then in your subconscious mind, we've got your card, Aquarius. This is one of my favorite cards in the deck, the star. This is about the stars aligning. This is also a deep healing that's taking place. So something is going on with you. Something really needs to be healed. You need this supportive energy from the universe right now um, in order to heal something. And this card is also about hope and wish fulfillment, which is absolutely beautiful. So you're wanting something to happen, I feel, and you are getting ready to take action if you haven't already. So that is progress, you know? Um, a lot of people are gonna be making great strides in 2020. I can feel it already. I love it. In your personal influence, we've got the Two of Cups, and this is about divine partnership. This is partnership in general, and it's also about a soulmate. So somebody could be on your mind, Aquarius. Somebody that you've been on the fence about, and now perhaps you're ready to take action. And these energies can flip-flop too. Maybe your person is ready to take action. In your external influence, we do have the Seven of Swords, not a great energy. This is about deception, strategy, lies, sneakiness. And you know, what I'm what I'm getting from that is um, that's just the fear coming through that's holding you back. Um, again, that could flip-flop, that could be what's holding your person back. Okay, and the cards are falling out. All right, another seven, you guys, your hopes and fears, seven of wands. This can be about standing your ground. It can be about feeling like you have to defend yourself against others. And this can also be about you being defensive, okay? So we've got the seven of swords and the seven of wands. That is the fears coming through Aquarius the fears that you're going to get your heart broken. And in the outcome, we do have the Eight of Cups. This card can be an energy of walking away from something. So, you know, you could be walking away from this partnership that you've been on the fence about. Um, something in your life you're walking away from because it wasn't the ultimate you're walking toward the ultimate. And this is really you going on a journey to find contentment, to find fulfillment. So maybe what you're walking away from is this defense mechanism and, you know, this deception. That could be. Now at the bottom of the deck, we do have the Queen of Cups. So this could be a water sign. It could be Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. And I think some of you were dealing with a Scorpio last time. And directly below this is the Five of Cups. This is about old wounds, okay? So it could be directly related with this person. This is the overall energy for the reading. This could absolutely be about you using your intuition about this situation because the Queen of Cups is very, very intuitive. She's very sensitive. And, you know, Aquarius, you guys are extremely intuitive. And I just saw the Hanged Man. So let's clarify everything. Want to clarify this Three of Cups. Okay, we've got the devil, the magician, the king of wands, and the seven of swords again. And this is clarifying the three of cups. So, um, you know what, I'm, this is in the present. It's like 
you know that you're needing to let go of the self-deception and these fears, okay? The devil could be a Capricorn, but I'm feeling that this is the fears coming up. It's like, do you see how this couple is chained and bound to this devil character? Um, and, you know, we've got what are you needing to release, work through your fears. So there, there's something, some fear coming through. And I really feel that's what um, you're needing to release. It's, um, yeah, it's really holding you back. It's, um, it's really holding you back, Aquarius. And the good news is we've got the Magician here and the King of Wands. And this is really you um, feeling very, very confident that you can create this this life that you're wanting. The King of Wands is a visionary and he is very enthusiastic. He's very passionate and adventurous and charismatic. And so what I'm getting is that once you release this energy, the devil, the seven of swords, it's like you've been deceiving yourself about something. There's something that you're not wanting to face but you can transform it with the magician here. And once you do, you're just gonna feel very, very inspired about life and it is gonna bring in this joy. So this might not be here just yet, but I feel that it's coming. And you know, this could absolutely be someone coming in for you too. So a fire sign, and I know that the air and fire signs um, you know, do kind of gravitate toward each other. So an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius. Let's clarify this Four of Swords. We've got the Hermit and the Three of Wands. Okay, clarifying this. Um, and the Four of Swords is challenging you. This is healing and recovering from a past heartbreak or just disappointment. And, you know, I feel, I do feel that it is related to a relationship just because of the, um, the readings that have been coming up for you. Um, the, the recovery, the healing is, is really challenging you. I know this because we do have these two major arcana that are about healing as well. So with the hermit coming up, you know, this could be a Virgo, but more than anything, I'm, I'm really feeling that this is you really needing to go within and take an honest inventory of what you're needing to heal, what you're holding on to, you know, letting go of these fears. It's like, why, what are you so afraid of? It's like, if you're disappointed, you're gonna recover eventually. If your heart is broken, I know it's difficult to go through, but you will recover from it and you'll probably be stronger. So there's something that you're needing to acknowledge. And I feel like that's why the Seven of, Seven of Swords is coming up is because there's something that you're not acknowledging. Okay, you're deceiving yourself. And so this is really you going within, figuring that out so you can move out of this, you know, this energy. And we've got the three of wands further clarifying. And this is really, there's a couple of things that are coming through. This is about, um, you know, putting in the work, making a decision, putting in the work. And it's kind of a waiting energy. It's like, wait and see. All right, you're you're making progress, but you're not seeing the results that you want. This is also a very expansive energy. Um, there, it's a big, wide world out there, Aquarius, and there are going to be many, many doors that open for you. And you know, just because one door isn't opening doesn't mean it's going to be the only door. There are going to be really amazing opportunities and so it's it's up to you to really go within and you know figure out what what's best for you which direction you want to go in 
and what you're trying to achieve. Let's clarify. The temperance in the past. And yeah, this is restoration, healing, patience, and it's clarified by the King of Swords, and I see this as you, Aquarius. And it's also clarified by the Hierophant. And because we have these other major arcana and the evolution, the well, the Eight of Cups, the evolving card coming through, what I am really feeling is this is really about sacred wisdom. Um, going within, so there are these cards about using your intuition, going within, and figuring this out. But I'm feeling like you're having a battle between, you know, your intellectual mind, your intellectual logical mind, and your higher wisdom. But I do want to remind you, this Queen of Cups is the overall energy. This is about listening to your intuition, okay? So you may want to just back off the cold hard logic, the, the detachment, and, you know, really go within. We're seeing a hermit, the hierophant. This is going to bring you some peace and it's going to help restore you. It's going to help you recover from this past disappointment. Let's clarify the sun. And we're getting a four of swords again. And the fool. Okay. What I'm getting from this is, you know, once you're done with this recovery process, which may take some time, it really depends on you and, you know, how much work you're willing to do on this. But after this recovery takes place, I feel that you're going to be reborn in a sense with this fool. It's like you're going to resurrect yourself. You're going to be stronger than ever. Your outlook on life is going to be just fresh and innocent and amazing. And you're going to be ready just to like jump in and go for what you want. Go on a new adventure. And, you know, we do see this Knight of Swords decisive action in your conscious mind. So I think you're getting there. It's like, this is, you know, taking that leap, taking that risk to begin a new cycle, to begin a new journey. And it's going to bring you a lot of joy and happiness. It's going to be um, very expansive for you. It's I feel that it's going to just create um, more opportunities for you. It's, uh, it, it's almost like you're going to be seeing things uh, from a completely different perspective. It's, I don't know, it's like information is just going to come to you and it's going to help you make sense of some things that happened in the past is what I'm really getting. Let's clarify this Knight of Swords for Aquarius. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Um, so Aquarius. Yep. Decisive action. This is in your conscious mind. We've got the page of cups. This is an apology. This is also, um, and this could be a water sign. So Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. And this can also be a message of love, like a love offering. And um, this may be coming in for you. You may be extending this. But this is the real deal, you guys. So this is um, the Two of Cups partnership. We've got this in your personal influence. And we've also got the Six of Cups. Look at this. Aquarius. <laughs> The Six of Cups is about wanting reunion with someone. It's about reconciling. It is also a soulmate energy, especially when it's coupled with the Two of Cups. And, you know, all the clarifiers are Cups cards. So there is something really beautiful coming for you. Um, it's just a matter of 
finishing up this healing, making a decision. So, you know, this is, uh, th this is beautiful, beautiful energy. Let's clarify the star card. That is total wish fulfillment. Okay, what I'm getting from this, the star in your subconscious, this is the stars aligning. This is hope and wish fulfillment. It's having hope for the future. And it's clarified by the Knight of Wands and the moon. So what I'm getting from this is, you know, this can be about your intuition. It can also be about fear and illusions. And what I'm getting from this is you are going to use your intuition. You are going to be successful moving through these fears that you're having. And then you are just going to be ready to charge forward toward your wish fulfillment. You're going to be feeling so much more hopeful. I think there will be signs that come along because this is about universal alignment. So it's like you're going to be getting receiving messages or signs that it's this is it. It's time to move forward. This is your wish fulfillment. It, it's going to feel right to you and you're just going to charge forward with passion and excitement and curiosity. Beautiful. Let's clarify this two of cups. And it is clarified by the King of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. So this is in your personal influence. This is actually really beautiful energy. The Ten of Wands is, um, you know, these are the fears that you're having. This is, you know, needing to recover from this past disappointment. It's, you know, this indecision. It's, it's been a huge burden. You've been feeling overwhelmed, exhausted, and it's like this is the ending of a cycle, okay, so that you can begin fresh. We saw the Fool card. Um, so, yeah, this is you letting go of all this past disappointment, these heavy burdens you've been carrying. And the other clarifier is the King of Pentacles. And this is, this is beautiful. This is um, like once you release this energy, this, this partnership, this love, this soulmate, union is going to be incredibly successful. It's going to be stable. It's going to be committed. It's going to be loyal. It's just a matter of working through this other stuff. But the, you know, the King of Pentacles is the ultimate instability. He's very genuine. He's very um, caring and grounded and abundant. And so this is amazing. This could be someone coming in for you, Aquarius. Um, it doesn't have to be an earth sign. That would be Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, but it's just somebody who's really stable, okay? And it's like this love is going to be the a long-term, long-term soulmate connection. This could be it. Um, you know, uh, I mean, that that is like really good energy. So this could be it, Aquarius. Let's clarify the Seven of Swords. I like this. I only need one clarifier. Yeah. Okay. This is in your external influences. So there may have been some sneakiness, some deception, some self-deception, some betrayal. There, there is something that went down between you and your person. And with the Eight of Cups, this is a repeating message, you guys. This is in your external influences. And then we've got it in the outcome. This is about you just leaving that all behind, okay? Leaving it all behind. What's in the past is going to stay in the past. You're not going to hang on to this anymore. And this is actually going to help you heal, okay? It's like you want to be happy. You want to walk toward the sun. You want to take this leap of faith that the full energy is bringing in. And you, you want to find that 10 of cups, 
okay? And I feel that it is coming in for you with this Two of Cups showing. So, yeah, bravo. All right, clarifying the Seven of Wands. Um, we've got the Death card and the Queen of Cups. So this is interesting. This is a um, couple things. Some of you could absolutely be dealing with a Scorpio. Um, okay. With this, this is in your hopes and fears, and this is you being defensive. All right. It's you feeling like you have to defend yourself because of these fears. And it's you defend, you know, um, just defending yourself against everything that's happening around you. It's like you don't want to go through this heartbreak again. But being defensive actually, you know, keeps people away from us. It does nothing to invite them in. And if this two of cups is truly what you want, and I believe it is because that's come up twice, then a transformation is in order. Okay, it's like something has got to die in order for um, this fool to come in, this fresher energy. That's the rebirth part, you know, death and rebirth. This is transformation. This is a transitional energy. And with the star and the temperance and the four of swords coming through, I feel like you are going to get there. There's a lot of supportive energies here. And the Queen of Cups is, you know, showing up again. So this is really cutting out, um, you know, your worries and your fears and, and going within and listening to your intuition. You know the truth, Aquarius. You know the truth. So cut out that paranoia that you have and let this love in, okay? Let's clarify this Eight of Cups. And you guys, I need to pause for a second. Just a moment, please. Okay, thank you. Oh, yeah, I like it. Okay, the outcome is the Eight of Cups. This is about going on that journey. And you're going to learn a lot about yourself, okay? When you walk away from these fears, you walk away from the turmoil, the self-deceit, all of that, because it's not bringing you the ultimate happiness. And, you know, you're walking away from this uh, indecision, this stalemate. It's like you're, you're going to drop those swords. You're going to stop protecting your heart. You're going to take off the blindfold. You are, you want to see the sun again. That's what I'm feeling. You want to see the sun. You want to bring in this happiness. You want to bring in this joy. And you know that that can't happen if you stay in this energy of indecision. And, you know, it's like you've got the um, decisive action, Knight of Swords, here in your conscious mind. So um, all is going to be well. No more fence sitting for you. And the final clarifier is the chariot. And this is beautiful because this is about victory. It's about charging forward. So you're charging forward with your life. I love it. And then um, at the bottom of the clarifying deck, we do have the hanged man, the two of wands, and the ace of wands. So I feel that all of this um, deep soul searching, this, this inner work that you're doing is... Um, really going to clarify what the right direction is for you, the right path, and it is going to bring in this gorgeous new beginning, this this passionate, passionate new beginning with your love. So I want to just get a final guidance for you, and then this reading will be concluded. And you guys, I think I'm going to start offering, um, ex I'm going to start doing specific love readings and start doing um, extended on Vimeo later this month. So please, uh, you know, watch for that. Uh, 
All right. Well, Aquarius, we've got Magician and the Mirror. And did we see the Magician come through? I think we did. Yes, we did. So this is a double message. This is like you being able to manifest and you being able to create this life that you're really wanting with this soulmate. This is beautiful. I love it. Happy 2020. If you resonated with this, please like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell. And of course, I'd love to hear your comments on this. And happy new year again. Until next time, I'm sending you so much love. Bye-bye.